Have you ever wondered why Illustrator? Like of all the software that's out there, why this one? You're not alone here, especially if you're a designer who really likes drawing by hand or drawing in general. And when you sit down and use Illustrator, it doesn't feel like the most intuitive program to use. I hear you. But I want to stress that there is good reason to use it and to keep using it. I know there's new things emerging every day and you should keep up with the latest and the greatest, but there's still good reason to use Illustrator for fashion design. Illustrator has been used for 20 plus years in fashion. When I first started, I also used Macromedia Freehand at one of my jobs, and there were quite a few people using Corel Draw. But Adobe eventually bought Macromedia, and Illustrator emerged as the vector based software the company carried. And having used both, I have to say it was the better program, in my opinion. Since then, it's also become the predominant vector based software in our industry. So in the world of corporate, there's a lot less illustration and a lot more fashion technical drawing. During my early career, most buyers saw samples of everything before they wrote up their orders. And so although we might share an illustration or quick sketch amongst ourselves, what was really most important was a good flat sketch because that would go in the fashion tech pack so a sample could be made. Fast forward to today and there's a lot less sampling. It's really expensive and honestly, it's quite wasteful. So a fashion CAD has become that much more important. And those are normally made by designers drawing their fashion flats and coloring them in Adobe Illustrator. A CAD can show sketches of all of the styles on the line, all of the colors and the textures it's being offered in, the style number, style and fabric description, and the price. And usually there's a fabric board and a color board if the buyer is unfamiliar with the fabric and wants to feel it or needs to see actual colors. But it's become a very efficient way to do business. And though many designers lament the days of hand sketches and beautiful illustrations, think about how much faster the industry moves, how much faster the world moves now. There would be no way for a designer to keep up with the speed of business today, doing everything by hand. But there are really cool things that can be done with digital design once you get past learning the basics. So that's the history according to Mikkel. Now let's talk about why Illustrator is still important. There aren't many software companies that service digital design quite like Adobe. They've got programs that help you draw, shoot and edit film, edit photos, record and edit audio, create and lay out magazines and books, design user interfaces, create websites. And I'm sure I'm missing something, but just those things alone cover the majority of what a creative design team does every day. And they're constantly updating their software to not only make it better and more efficient, but also to make it more relevant to what designers today need. For instance, they have lots of tools for your phone and your tablet. And within the last three years, they've released two of their most popular pieces of software, Photoshop and Illustrator for iPad. I spoke in a panel recently about the technology and the future of fashion. And I mentioned how a company can have their trend, apparel design, tech design, product development, and their marketing teams all use Adobe products to do their jobs. And at my last consulting position, even the merchandising team began to use InDesign to add their information to our CAD decks. So if you're a small company, you can do big business with a few Adobe licenses because half of your team can use the programs they offer to do their jobs. Which leads me to my next point. As a one or two person fashion upstart, you can get a license for the Adobe Creative Suite for less than 80 USD per month or 960 USD per year. Less if you're getting an individual license and even less if you're a student or teacher. And with that price, you have access to 20 plus applications that allow you to draw, edit photos or video, design UI UX interfaces, create social media posts, even do AR and 3D artwork. Where else are you getting that deal? 
For the most seamless use of Illustrator or Photoshop, I find that having 16 gigs of RAM works best. But you only need a minimum of eight to run Photoshop and two to run Illustrator. Most computers have at least four gigs of RAM and having taught Photoshop and Illustrator for fashion design remotely for two semesters, I can honestly say that you can make four gigs work. So as much as I'm loving the new 3D programs and I do believe that they're an important part of the future of fashion, besides the learning curve, a big hurdle is the hardware requirements necessary to run the programs. They require quite a bit of RAM, more than your average laptop, as well as hard drive space. So what that means for many of us adding those skills to our repertoire is we're not only spending money for the program, but we're also making a significant investment to upgrade our hardware as well. The other thing is that many people are working more on the go, at the office, at home, on the train, at Starbucks, on the beach. And having the ability to create wherever you are is a big part of the future of fashion as well. And Adobe's programs already allow you to create on the go, whether it's on your laptop, your tablet, or your phone. Except to go shopping, I don't think I'd leave home without my laptop. And now that Illustrator is on the iPad, I'm starting to use that even more, which is so much easier to travel with. Anybody else loving Illustrator on the iPad or any of the other Adobe apps for iPad? Let me know in the comments. I was in a Clubhouse panel recently and another speaker talked about nine month learning curve for digital software. Oof. How many of us are that dedicated if you're learning on your own and you don't have to use the software every day? I mean, I love learning new technology and even I think that would be challenging. Illustrator and Photoshop have a much lower learning curve, and because the programs are so versatile, even if you're not drawing in them daily, you can find other reasons to use them. You can create holiday cards, signs for events, uh, social media posts, edit your family pictures. There's a plethora of things you can do to at least keep using the software so that if you're learning the programs and you don't have the time to draw a flat sketch every day, you can at least stay regularly engaged on the platforms. There's also lots of resources that you can use right now to help you learn the program. There's channels like this one, YouTube in general, Adobe has lots of videos and written tutorials that can help you. And of course you can Google a question. And a class like the ones we offer at 383 Design Studio will always be your most thorough and quickest way to go from A to Z in learning how to use the program and how to use it for fashion design. So I don't have any deals with them, but I'm very much an advocate for the Adobe programs when it comes to fashion design. Of course, I love technology, but I also love any company that's going to make what I do easier, more efficient, more relevant, and more creative. So yes, I love using Illustrator. And as a creative fashion designer, no matter what software I learn, I'll be using it for years to come. And I suspect many other designers will be doing the same. Thanks for watching today's video. If you are new to digital fashion design, make sure you check out the links in the description for more information about my classes in Illustrator and Photoshop for fashion design and to get some great freebies. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.